Our mother loved life. She was very positive, loved people. So we just think it's really important that we, we do the same. Exactly 30 years ago, Lauren Bell's seemingly happy, successful mother, Penny, was murdered in a particularly savage attack. My thoughts now are that if someone can do this, then they're gonna have, they will do it again. I know they will. And I know what devastation it's caused to me and my family. As her husband and children grieved, police began their investigation. But three decades on, who killed Penny and why remains a mystery. The businesswoman had driven from the family home in Buckinghamshire, telling builders working on the house she had an appointment. She'd withdrawn £8,500 from her bank account. Inexplicably, her body was found slumped over her car's steering wheel, found in this swimming pool car park nine miles away in West London. She had been stabbed more than 50 times. The money was missing. Penny's car was seen driving slowly and erratically along this road. An eyewitness said that they saw a man in the passenger seat and Penny mouthing the words, help me, through the window. It eventually pulled in here, parked up, and the attack happened. It was prolonged and it was frantic in this wide open car park next to a children's play area with the leisure centre just in the distance. It would have been busy and it was broad daylight. The question is, how did no one see a thing? Despite countless police interviews, no one has been brought to justice. One of more than two and a half thousand cold murder cases in England and Wales. And what would your message be on the, on the 30th anniversary? I would plead with anybody to just help us in this situation because not only does it release us from this sort of vortex of a frustration and, and soul-destroying sort of pain that we have to go through. It also takes one very bad person off our streets. Lauren hopes one day she'll have the information to tell her own young daughter what happened. A daughter she's called Penny. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News.